Well, good evening and uh, thanks for being here to learn about the N1 implant. Um, I had the ability to get uh, access to our place to N1 approximately just a, little less than, a little less than three years ago. And with the new methodology behind the preparation of the bone with the N1 implant and the new geometry of the N1 implant, it's, uh, it's you know, we're able to have earlier loading with the implant. And that's due to the way the bone is prepared. We have our initial prep preparation drill that we use. We follow that up with a shaping tool. The shaping tool is very sharp and it actually works to condense and cut the bone as needed and does that in a very atraumatic way. We have very low RPM with very with no irrigation. That's gonna allow for the uh, osseous coagulum to stay inside the socket and allow for improved osteogenic healing of our implant. Um, the, the geometry of the implant also, the coronal portion is trioval as opposed to cylindrical. So that's gonna engage three points of our osteotomy very aggressively and allow for very good stability. It's also gonna leave some space to allow for very fast osteointegration. And with using the shaper instead of conventional drilling protocols, we're actually gonna eliminate the zone of cell death that occurs in conventional drilling. What that means is that with traditional implant placement, we have that initial stability and over the time, our stability actually decreases with traditional implant placement. So our implants are often most vulnerable at two to three weeks post-placement. If we can actually not create that zone of cell death and be more kind to the bone, can we eliminate that, that dip and basically start getting better integration, uh, stability of our implant day one? And that was the idea behind the early loading protocol with the N1 implant. So we came up with a decision tree based on initial insertion torque. And we decided that if we had insertion torque that was less than 20 Newton centimeters, we would actually scan between eight and 12 weeks. We had an implant that was between 20 to 35 Newton centimeters, we would typically scan at six weeks. If we were between 35 and 50, we were scanning at four weeks. And if we were approaching 50 Newton centimeters or higher, we could scan anywhere between the day, day one up to two weeks. And that's the protocol that we, that we decided to go with. Traditionally in my practice, we were, we were scanning traditionally at, at 12 weeks. So that was kind of our, our baseline that we've always been doing with traditional implant dentistry. And so what we found is, and I have a few cases that we can show, the total, the total amount of implants we placed was approaching 300 implants, so just shy of 300 implants. We had um, two non-integrations that were noted before loading. Uh, other than that, everything's been completely successful. Uh, we have over a year on a lot of the cases now, a year post-loading. And to show some examples of the cases, here's a case where basically implants placed. Uh, insertion torque on this one was, was in the low, was 19 Newtons. Um, with this protocol, we we're placing an N1 base with all of our implants to get the added biological benefits that an N1 base is gonna provide us with the soft tissue attachment to that base component. It was then subsequently uh, scanned at tw uh, eight weeks and then subsequently restored by the restorative dentist. This was a study done in private practice, so I can control when we scan. I can't control how long the restorative doctor takes to receive the scan and follow through and actually make the restoration and deliver the restoration. So this one I believe was uh, inserted uh, right around 3.9 months even though it was scanned at eight weeks. There's another case, uh, immediate placement, 76-year-old uh, non-smoker, uh, initial insertion torque of 35, again, scanned at six weeks and restored by 3.7 months. One thing that you can see on these cases is just the, the quality of the soft tissue. Despite maybe not the best oral home care by the patient, we're seeing very nice thick pink tissues. Great, great bone levels around our implants as well. Um, again, 47 year old non-smoking female, 42 Newton centimeters, um, N1 base, 1.4 months when it was scanned and restored by 3.7 months. Again, healthy tissues consistent across the board. Here's a case, uh, central incisor, Immediate placement, had excellent insertion torque. This was scanned, I believe, at two weeks. And this is where a case that the laboratory and the dentist did their part. 
So within three weeks later, it was restored at basically one month. So showing the final restoration, and this is, this is probably about a two month post-op film. Again, we're seeing preservation of our tissues and excellent health, excellent bone levels. So again, we can conclude really that in a private practice setting, we can, with the N1 implant, based on our insertion tour, predictably improve the speed at which we can get to the final restoration for our patients. We can do so in a very predictable manner. Thank you.